Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Level Fight. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, we have the Donald Trump Kamala Harris debate, okay? And God, we 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 streamed five hours on that damn thing, and it was a hard. I got drunk. Getting the kids out for school the next morning was hard. Oh heavens! Donald Trump didn't win that debate. Kamala won that debate, and and there's. A myriad of shady reasons why she won that debate. In our debate stream, we had um, the morning mayhem. Chris Hall, of uh, he's very sultry, handsome fella, ladies, huh? Um, he's an award-winning uh, filmmaker. He's got the, he's got the laurels out the wazoo. Uh, you know, the, the, like the little feathers or whatever that says best movie ever. He's got lots of those things. We're watching this debate, and he was there with us, and, 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 and I say, hey, yeah, um, I like Kamala in this. She looks good. Something's drawing me to her. She's looking way better. She's popping out against the background. Donald Trump looks like shit. He's sunken in. Like, what's, go what's going on here? Like, I can't put my finger on it, but I know enough that something, there's, there's shady games. And then he's like, you know what? You're absolutely right, Sean. He then goes on to say, well, um, being like a filmmaker and he knows a bit about lighting, right? So he's saying Kamala was like like lit better from the front and uh, she was backlit better. and She popped out from the back. And so she was kind of like coming uh, that she was like this angel coming out of the darkness where Donald Trump was almost like the opposite. He wasn't very lit uh, in the foreground and he wasn't backlit. And so he blended in. It was just very it, it was shady games by ABC among many of the other shady games that were going on the 30 the, her her um her podium was shorter so she could look in proportion they didn't do a lot of side by side so you couldn't see how short she was um there it was a 3 on 1 beat down uh, just a bunch of things the, a conspiracy about the earrings th this is what this video ultimately is about because it's the most ridiculous one the most ridiculous thing and it's actually, no one ever thought it was going to get traction, but it's got traction, which is weird. I think it's funny as hell. Kamala Harris debate earrings twist as mystery company behind stealth Bluetooth, jewel Bluetooth jewelry responds and vows to even the playing field for Trump. What? That's hilarious. I suspect, ultimately, it's just a, a, a little company on Kickstarter who is um, <laughs> somehow by the grace of God, found their name at the heart of a big scandal, a big conspiracy, and they're like, well, fuck it. We'll just run with it. We'll, we'll just go with it. Maybe that will boost the sales. That's what I think is going on here. So a company that makes Bluetooth earrings that resemble Kamala Harris debate jewelry has offered their wares to Donald Trump as well, with one caveat. Harris who has previously suggested that Bluetooth headphones pose a security risk, was accused of wearing earphones disguised as pearl earrings to aid her during her, the 90-minute contest Republican rival Donald Trump on Tuesday. Critics have baselessly... Now, here, there's going to be a bunch of these words. Baselessly? No, there's, there's a basis. You're just either too biased or too fucking retarded to actually look at what the base is of the argument. One of the bases was that uh, Kamala Harris is a fucking idiot. She's an absolute moron. And they, what she demonstrated was so far beyond her normal natural ability. People are, people are like, uh, what the fuck are we watching? It's true. I was gobsmacked absolutely gobsmacked as to how well she was speaking. Nary a cackle. Nary a cackle. So some people say, oh yeah, she's speaking like the, the, the cadence or the pace or the whatever of her speech is, is a little slow. It's a little behind. Almost like somebody is saying something to her and then she's listening and, and, and repeating it. Maybe. Maybe. But that would mean she would still have the same shit personality. Her personality is dog shit. The cackling would still happen, even if someone was yammering in your ear like this. Yammer, yammer, yammer. I think she either had Adderall or Vivant. As a person who is a, as a 
ADHD as possible. Um, I've, I've used these medications. I have prescriptions for Vyvanse, and I don't take them all the time. I don't like the side effects. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And it's the way that makes me feel that's a thing here. It, it like strips me of my personality. I'm like a task completing, heat seeking missile. I have no sense of humor. I'm not interested in funny. I just want to like do the thing and do the fact. And then, and then that's it. And that's what I saw in Kamala. She was very, just kind of like, hmm, yeah, with a, with a big smile and just kind of, you know, bitchy. But she wasn't laughing at everything. And if that's the tenet of her personality, somehow that was stripped from her. You can't just get that out of the personality. So I think I think it was a, a stimulant of, of, of some kind. But that's just my opinion. But the reason why I'm saying these things is because they, they're saying critics have baselessly. It's not, there's, there's bases for it. She was so uncharacteristically good. That's the base. So baselessly alleged that the gold pearl loops which Harris, 59, uh, has worn before and are believed to be from Tiffany's, are actually a pair of smart audio earrings engineered by German startup company Nova. The only similarity between the two sets of earrings appears to be that they both feature a pearl. And I kind of actually believe that. I don't think they look alike at all. I think this is genuinely conservative hope. Malte Iverson, the managing director of the Nova Manufacturing Icebox Sound, uh, says he can neither confirm nor deny if they are his earrings. He knows. He knows that they're not, but he wants to latch on to the press, I think. We do not know whether Mrs. Harris wore one of our products. The resemblance is striking, and while our product was not specifically developed for the use at presidential debates, it is nonetheless suited for it. Iverson said in a statement. See, I think he's just trying to use that 15 minutes of fame. His company will never get this level of fame again. So I think he's trying to milk it for all that it's worth. He then poked a little fun at Harris's opponent while offering him an opportunity to make things even. To ensure a level playing field for both candidates, we are currently developing a male version and will soon be able to offer it to the Trump campaign. The choice of color is a bit challenging, though, as orange does not go well with a lot of colors, Iverson told Just the News. It's, a bit, it's kind of cheeky because orange man, orange man bad. He also clarified that the company is currently on hard times, saying they face a lawsuit against a Chinese tech company for breaching their patents. He adds that they are also out of stock. His company is on hard times, so all of a sudden you find your your company that's running out of money in the news and a conspiracy. Why wouldn't you go with it? It's the only thing that could possibly make sense, in my opinion. We are talking to investors in order to ramp up operations accordingly and are confident that we will ship again very soon. Harris and Trump faced off in a heated debate Tuesday for the first and Possibly last. No, there's going to be more. 100% there's going to be more. Because Kamala Harris did really, really well. But she didn't say anything. She A lot of words came from that bitch's face, but they didn't mean anything. And independent voters agreed. Independent voters were like, yeah, but Trump is good on the economy. And that's all that matters. Trump was goaded and, and mugged on camera and everyone was like, ooh, this is kind of biased. I don't really like this debate very much. So it almost kind of like comes out in the wash. They need another one that's more definitive. Trump, who veered into uncharted territory by discussing allegations of eating pets and executing babies, hit back by taking aim on the Democrats' uh, record over immigration and inflation. So... In Springfield, Ohio, the Haitians, they're snatching geese, they're snatching ducks, they're snatching cats, they're snatching dogs. There's been a ton of eyewitness reports about them driving around in a white van, collecting neighborhood cats, neighborhood pets. There's police, actual police report of them snatching ducks and geese. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's just so much the allegations as in it's actually happening, but also eating cats is, um, 
It's in the culture. It's in the Haitian culture. You, you would be a fool to think that they wouldn't do it here if they were doing it over there. You'd be a fool to think that. But also executing babies, um, that's also a fact. It's a fact. Late-term abortions are a thing. They're kind of common. Uh, people are now on, on Twitter and TikTok. They're, they're recording their, their calls to abortion clinics, going, making up a story about why they need a late-term abortion. And the abortion clinics are like, yeah, we can do that. It happens all the time. And then they describe how over the four days, they slowly execute the baby, injecting things into its body, into its hearts. And it's it, watching one video of the girl talking about it. Like she was on the phone with, with uh, an abortion clinic and, and the uh, receptionist or whoever, the nurse who answered the phone or whatever was explaining the procedure, how it goes over. The, it broke my heart. It absolutely broke my heart because because. They, they were they were talking about this imaginary baby who was thir- 34 weeks, that's eight months or whatever. That's a viable baby. That's a human being. And so it's, it is executing babies. But also, sometimes when you try and execute a baby, that's, that's like eight or nine months. The body tries to deliver it, right? And so then you get like the former Governor Northam or whatever talks about how, you know, the baby's born and then like kept comfortable and then they figure out what they're going to do to it. Well, they they just leave it. They leave it and let it die on its own. It's gross stuff. It's gross stuff. It's 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 a gross bit of of, of reality that Democrats just want to cover their eyes and 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 hold their ears and don't want to deal with. But it's out there. It's uncomfortable. I don't even like talking about it. An X account called the Maverick Approach which claims to be an alternative news source. I mean, aren't we all alternative news sources? is heavily pushing the earpiece conspiracy theory because it's interesting. It's fun. We want to talk about it. That's why I'm making this video because it's kind of funny. There's a major issue with this debate, the account tweeted. I told myself she was fed what to say during the debate and my hunch was right. Nova is the world's first and only wireless earphone earrings. So this is what they look like right here. So pearl in the front, a thing in the back. And it's uh, a hinge at the bottom. But it's all like one piece. Right? It's the one solid bit at the bottom. Here's a, here's a better view of them, right? This is all solid down here. And then if you look at these ones, these are the Tiffany ones. It's like a loop. It's just a loop, like a piece of spaghetti. It's golden spaghetti, just fucking looped. And Kamala's ears, you see, it's just a loop. The Maverick approach added nothing is what it seems. I don't trust news sources like that, right? I might be, um, I might be a conservative-minded individual. I might be, you know, MAGA or whatever. I might be, you know, PPC Canadian or whatever, right? But I understand reality when I'm fucking looking at reality. Reality is these were regular earrings. The account shared a photo of Harris during last night's contest, clearly displaying her earrings, and then showed a link, which were, uh a link to the Nova H1 audio earrings, which are allegedly the first clip-on earphones on the planet. Yeah, okay. So here's a, a picture of Kamala. Now, it's, it's small for you, so, I mean, get real close to your phone or whatever. But you can see you can see the loop clear as day. Like, these are the Tiffany ones, or ones that resemble the Tiffany ones. These, these, are, not, these are not in any way... Um, I'm more interested in what this flag is she has. That's not an American flag. What is that? What is this flag she has? So this poll here, what do you believe she was wearing? I think she was wearing the Tiffany ones. 57% say the Bluetooth ones. That's crazy. Yeah, I think she was drugged. Like, like she was on juice. The, uh, the vice president came under fire um, last week as she was spotted wearing a pair of wired headphones as she waded through a group of reporters who tried to question her. She then, like, took her phone to her, her ear. Oh, I, can't, I gotta talk to somebody. I gotta talk to them on the phone. Like, bitch, you're wearing earphones. What are you doing? Yeah, anyways, that's, that's that. Kamala Harris debate earrings twist as mystery company behind stealth Bluetooth jewelry responds and vows to even the playing field for Trump. That's just a uh, company going broke, trying to make some money in this new cycle that they happen to find themselves in. 
that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Comment below and all that stuff. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll follow you. Or no, you, I'll, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.